Hi friends, this is Leela. Welcome to my channel Leela Web Dev. In the previous session, we have successfully created the association between the categories and the products. So the relation is one to many relationship. A category can have many products and a product belongs to a category. So that is a combination we have used it. Now, so when, now we know that we can add a categories, something like we can say that we can add electronics. Okay, electronics, I can add it. Here I can add some description and I can also add something like passion. Okay, passion. So I can add description here also. So this is the categories that we have created electronics and passion. Now, when I am trying to add a product, so we need to provide an option that to select a category to which this to which this actually this product belongs to. So we need to create a we need to provide an option to the user that which category does this product belongs to. So let's try to get the get the all the complete list of categories and display it here. So how we can get those all categories is let's go to the product controller and here we are having get add get add product page. So this is the product page and here I can say that category dot find all. So I am trying to get find all the categories. Then if I get these categories. And I can copy these all the things and I can paste it here and I can use catch off error. If an error occurs, I can do console.log of error. So that is the thing. Now here we are having all the categories. So we can pass this one to the views data. So we are passing it to the views data. So this is the thing. Now let's try to see console the categories and we'll see that whether we are able to get the categories data or not. So normally in order to get this one, so we can use dot do JSON. So here we'll see if I go into this one and here I will click on the add product. I will refresh this add product. So what is the thing we are getting? So we are getting an error or what? Categories dot to JSON. Okay, let's try to have this one something like, like this only. Console.log categories. <coughs> now let's try to see. Yeah. Here something we are able to get. Yeah, here we are able to get a categories details. So that is nothing but two categories. These are all the things we are able to get. So now I need to get only the ID and the title only. So I want to get only the ID and title. So what I can do is here I can provide an option attributes. So attributes I need only the ID and also the title. That's it. So I need only the ID and the title like this also you can provide it. Now if you try to see if I refresh this page, let's see if I refresh this page. If you go here and I will be able to see that I am getting only the ID and the title. So ID and the title. We are able to get only ID and the title. This is enough for me. I am passing these categories. Let's go into this add product. Here this is the add product. And if I go into this add product at the bottom. P tag and label select category. I can use select category. And this is a select select box. So we can use the drop down. And this is a category ID. This belongs to a category ID. And here class is equal to form control so that we can have some design form control. First option what I will provide is option select category. Okay, we can provide first option default selected option is select category. And here I can loop over for let category for let category of categories so we are getting these all categories right here i will be having like this and here i can provide it like this open and close and inside this one option value is equal to category dot id and here also category category dot title so that's it. that's it that's enough option value category ready category dot title so if i try to see the output so we are able to see the output everything is fine let's see the output here if i refresh this page so we are able to see the option select category and these are the electronics and the passion we are able to see it here now when i am trying to add it image url price and all those things i need to catch this category ready i need to save it so one normal thing what i can do is let's go to the product controller and here what I will do is 
post ad right so here we will be having a category id i am getting a category id and this is nothing but category id so we need to keep it down yeah i will keep request dot body dot category id that's it so finish now let's try to create a product and all those things so now if i try to see the output so here i will be adding something like samsung or iphone 14 and you can have some image and it will be having something around eight nine nine dollars and i can have some description so this belongs to electronics add product so product has been added so if i want to add another product so here let's see the association so whether gary ready came into here or not so in the products if you try to see here we are able to insert the category ready 2 that category ready 2 means that is nothing but it belongs to the two two means electronics let's try to add another one also so here i am adding t-shirt and some image and here it will be having 29 dollars so here this comes under the passion so we have added this t-shirt and an iphone so we are able to show the product details now i want to show the category details to which category this product belongs to so that is the main thing right that is the main thing we need to show so we are able to successfully add the product details and in the database also we are able to see the products uh, the products details also with it associated to category ready so now we need to show the category name for this one so to which category this iphone belongs to to which category this t-shirt belongs to so in order to provide that one what we need to do is let's go to the home page home controller so that one is a home controller right so home controller and this is our product okay this is our product and this is the find all and here we can add an option such a way that include category so we need to include the category that's it so we you need to include the category we need to include the category if i try to see if i try to show you the output if i try to show you the output so let's try to console the products also here console.log products so if i try to console.log of products you see here if i refresh this page so now we are able to get the output if i go into this one so here i am able to see that this is the id okay so these are all the product details and also i am con containing the category details also so i am containing the category details so like this include category details also we are able to have it now what i can do here so products dot category so we are having products dot category right let's go to the product list product list and here in this one I can show the category name so below the title so do category and it belongs to product dot category dot title enough that's it so now if you try to see the output how it will look like let's see if you try to see the output if I refresh it now we are able to see the category electronics and category fashion to which category this product type belongs to so this is how we can do it before closing this one i also want to show another model that is nothing but i actually I forgot to show you so this is one way how we can insert the data product.create and also we, you need to know another way of creating another way of adding the data into this one we need to know it so that one also we need to know it so how we can do it so for example i can remove this category id I can add something like constant category id is equal to so request dot body dot category id here i will be having and this is the product details okay this is the product details title image your price description these all things we are having and in this one what i can do is product details we are having these all the things we are having now i want to create the product first before creating the product what we need to do is category dot find first we need to find that whether this category actually exists or not so that is the main thing right so we need to know that whether this category exists or not then only we can add the product into the category and we can associate with that product with that category first we am checking that whether this category is existing or not so that means then i will get a category category i will i will try to get a category so now what i will try to do so after getting the category if the category is existing means what i will try to do is i will try to save this category object in a in a in a variable so category 
category object is equal to category so i have saved it now i can add the product so now i can add the product product dot create you can use the product dot create and here i can write i can send the product so we are creating the product this one written returns return say again response so we can change the promise and here i am getting a product object so product object so when this product is successfully created so what i can do this product object for this product object i want to set category i want to set the category i want to set the category so this is association which you can create it set category and what is the category i want to provide it so category object category object so i need to provide this category object so here we got the cat we are setting this category to the category object and we will return this this one so when this successfully is added so then i can catch again this one so there is no need to do anything so just we can do that return res so press dot redirect of home page so of all in any of these things if it anything fails means so you can catch this error and for the time being you'll do the console.log of error offloads will handle these all the error, error manipulations so this is the thing so what i am trying to do here first i am trying to check that whether the category which was coming from the form is existing or not if it is existing means so then i am creating the product and afterwards creating the product i am associating the category with that product then afterwards after successfully associating the category with that product i am redirecting to home page so now let's see whether we are able to get it or not so add a product and here i am this time i am adding iphone 13 and image url something like this and here i will be adding 799 and if i try to add it to electronics and let's go see now iphone 13 has been successfully added into the electronics if we go into the database and if we try to see here we are able to successfully add the association so through the other method also so normally we will be doing that method product dot create also we can do it that's not a, that's not at all uh, wrong but we need to make sure that that actually the cat we cannot trust the user's data right whatever the user is getting is sending us the data to the server we cannot trust it so first we need to check that whether the category existing or not then afterwards we can create a product tree product associated with that one so that is the main thing here you can directly <coughs> create uh, instead of setting these all the things you can directly add the category id here directly you can send it that's not a problem this is one option what i am trying to show you hope you understood about this one adding and also displaying the product details along with the category if you have any doubts or any suggestions please post the comments below to this video and if you like this video please do support me by subscribing to my channel thank you